Welcome. We have incredible news to share from Harvard Health, the American Heart Association, the Mayo Clinic, and more. It's all about the hype around the Mediterranean diet, so we decided to research and share with our viewers. Watch until the end to learn what to eat and how easy it is to follow this diet. So what's all the hype about? Numerous studies over the past 50 years have shown that people who live in the Mediterranean region have strikingly low rates of coronary heart disease, where fat intake was relatively high but largely from olive oil. If it runs in your family or you have heart disease, we do have a playlist linked down in the description with many helpful videos. Subsequent controlled feeding studies have shown that compared to typical carbohydrates, both mono- and polyunsaturated fats reduce LDL and triglycerides and increase HDL cholesterol. Importantly, these beneficial metabolic effects are greater in the presence of underlying insulin resistance. Research has shown that trans fats from partially hydrogenated vegetable oils, which are not found in the traditional Mediterranean diets, were most strongly related to risk of heart disease, where both poly- and monounsaturated fat, such as olive oil and avocado oil, were of low risk. Most trans fats are artificially created when hydrogen is added to vegetable oil in a process called partial hydrogenation. This process turns the liquid oil into a solid and makes it common for food facilities to use partially hydrogenated oils for cooking and frying. Any food made with partially hydrogenated oil will contain trans fat. Unfortunately, a lot of our favorite foods are loaded with trans fats. The key is reading the nutrition labels on everything we eat, which is critical. Examples of trans fats are fried foods, cakes, cookies, chips, donuts, and the list goes on. The FDA instituted labeling regulations in the 1990s for trans fats due to the risks. Consumption has decreased in the U.S. in recent decades. However, some individuals may consume high levels of trans fats based on their food choices. Epidemiologic evidence has also supported beneficial effects of higher intakes of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, fish, and daily consumption of moderate amounts of alcohol. Together with regular physical activity and not smoking, the research analyses suggest that over 80% of coronary heart disease, 70% of stroke, and 90% of type 2 diabetes can be avoided by healthy food choices that are consistent with the traditional Mediterranean diet. The most fascinating discovery is that it seems to represent the gold standard in preventive medicine probably due to the harmonic combination of many elements with antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties which overwhelm any single nutrient or food item. The whole seems more important than the sum of its parts. So what truly is the Mediterranean diet? It's actually pretty simple according to the Mayo Clinic. 1. Vegetables 2. Fruits 3. Whole grains 4. Beans 5. Nuts and seeds 6. Olive oil 7. Seasoning with herbs and spices the main steps to follow the diet include each day eat vegetables, fruits, whole grains, and plant-based fats. Each week, have fish, poultry, beans, legumes, and eggs. Enjoy moderate portions of dairy products. Limit how much red meat you eat. Limit how many foods with added sugar you eat. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and click on one of these other helpful videos. We are interested in all new information regarding preventive medicine and will continuously share what we find with all of you.